Hello guys, this is Deepika from MyTutorialRack.com and in this tutorial, I want to give you a quick walkthrough of all the different topics and projects that we're going to build inside of this course. So this is one of the most requested course by the students and inside of this course, we are going to build some real-time projects and through those projects, we will see how integration is done with external systems. So first thing is, what are the different topics we are going to cover in the course? So in this course, we are going to talk about REST APIs, SOAP APIs, bulk APIs, and streaming APIs. We will talk about push topics, platform events, change data capture events, and we will see how to make callouts from Salesforce through a Aura component or through a Lightning Web component. So we're going to cover all the different topics related to integration. This course will be very helpful if you are preparing for an interview because a lot of interviewers are asking questions related to integration these days. So this is one of the very in-depth course related to integration. So let's see what are the different projects that we're going to build. So the first project that we're going to build is going to be a application that we're going to uh, run on our local machine using a node.js server and uh, from this external application we are going to make a rest call and we will fetch data from salesforce you can see here we are going to have two custom objects student and school we will build these custom objects in Salesforce and we will insert data into those objects and then we are going to display that data inside of this external application. So we are going to make a REST call from this external application to fetch the data. Then how are we going to insert the records into those objects? So we are going to learn about bulk APIs and through this bulk APIs, we are going to insert records into those custom objects. And we will also see how to upload records into the standard objects as well. So we are going to run these bulk APIs using the Postman tool. And we will not only insert records using a XML or a JSON request, we will see how to upload data into Salesforce using a CSV file. So we'll talk about bulk API in detail in this course as well. The next thing is we are going to build a Aura component application. As you can see here, we are having a simple application which contains a simple text and a button. And when you click on this button, a callout is made to this external web service which returns data and we will display that data in this Aura component itself. So this application that we're going to call, the web service that we're going to call is a foreign exchange application. and. Uh, whatever the data that that application returns, we're going to display that data inside of Salesforce. So we will see how to make callouts from our component. This is the second project that we are going to build in the course. The third project that we are going to build in the course is we are going to connect Salesforce with an external Java application. And this Java application will be built using Eclipse and we will run it inside of Eclipse. And we will connect this Java application with Salesforce so that anytime you make a change in Salesforce, this external application will receive a notification and will also receive what data has changed inside of Salesforce. So through this application, we will learn about streaming API, we will learn about push topics, platform event, change data capture, and how these three things are different from each other and which one to choose when you need them. So we will learn about these important topics through this project. Then the fourth project that we are going to build is we are going to connect to Salesforce org. We are going to build two developer account and one developer account will act as a source org. The second developer account will act as a target org and we will connect these using the SOAP API. So from one Salesforce org, we will make a SOAP call to the second Salesforce org. And uh, whenever you insert records into the source org, it will trigger and it will create the same records in the target org. So how we will build this connection we will learn in this project and we will talk about partner wisdom, enterprise wisdom, how to generate classes using these wisdom files and how to integrate these two orgs. We are going to learn all this inside of this project. So this is the fourth project that we are going to build. 
Not only just the projects, we are also going to learn about these tools, which is SOAP UI and the Postman tool. And with the help of these tools, we are going to test our APIs. So from Postman, you can see here, we are going to make these 27 requests. We will see how to make REST authentication, SOAP authentication, bulk API calls using this Postman tool. So these are all the different requests that we are going to make using the tool. And we will also learn about SOAP UI tool. And with the help of the SOAP UI, we will see how to log in, how to make a login request to Salesforce, how to insert records into Salesforce, how to delete records, how to retrieve records in this from Salesforce. So we will learn about all these things inside of this course. So the tools that we are going to use will be the SOAP UI and the Postman. We will write our pro code using Visual Studio Code. So how to integrate all that. I'm going to how to install those tools. I will show you in this tutorial in this course as well. So you don't have to worry about any of those. I will give you step by step instructions on downloading, installing and integrating those Visual Studio code with Salesforce so we can go ahead and deploy our web components as well. The last project that we are going to build is we're going to build a lightning web component application. You can see here we are going to have two drop boxes. From the first drop box, you're going to pick up a base currency. So we're going to build a real time currency exchange application. So we are going to pass in the base currency and the conversion currency. And whenever you click on a button, it will give you a conversion rate. And that conversion rate is comes from an external web service. So we are going to make a call out from our lightning web component to this external web service. And that web service will return the data, which we are going to display inside of our lightning web component application. So how do we do all this? We are going to see inside of this course. So we are going to make a REST call using a client side controller. And we will also see how to make a REST API call from our server side controller as well. So these are the different topics and projects that we are going to build inside of this course. So this course is a complete hands on and you're going to learn each and every topic with the help of real time examples who this course is for. This course is not for everyone. So this course is not designed for the beginners. So if you are a complete newbie to Salesforce or you're not familiar with the out of the box features of Salesforce, if you're not familiar with Apex programming, then this course may not be for you right now. But once you learn about those things, then you can came, you can come to this course. If you want to learn about Apex programming, if you want to learn about Aura components or the web components, I do have separate courses for that. So go ahead and check out those courses before this course. And once you have your expertise in Apex programming and out of the box, then this course will be a stepping stone to becoming a senior developer. So if you want to learn about different APIs, SOAP, REST, batch, streaming, bulk, etc., or Apex callouts, then this course is for you. If you are preparing for your platform developer two exam, that exam requires an understanding of integration and different APIs. So this course will be very beneficial for you in preparation for that exam. Through this course, you're going to learn about a lot of advanced topics related to Salesforce development. A lot of interviewers are asking questions related to integration these days. So this course will give you in-depth knowledge of how to do integration with external application. So if you wanted to become a senior developer or if you wanted to increase your skills, then this course will be beneficial for you, will be very, very helpful. How this course is different. So this course is a complete hands-on training course, which contains a lot of real-time projects. And with the help of those projects, you're going to learn about different APIs. And uh, we don't have any other course available on Rhine. Those courses only talk about REST or SOAP. No course talks about streaming APIs, bulk APIs in depth. And this course also contains a lot of quizzes and whatever the uh, code snippets that we're going to use, we are, I have attached those in the course as well under the resources section. One of the most important thing that we're going to do in this course is we're going to host a weekly doubt session. So every Saturday, whoever is enrolled or all the students of this course will be able to attend this weekly doubt session. So any 
questions that you have related to this course or any other courses of mine, then you will be able to attend these free doubt session and will help you to clear all your questions or queries regarding any course that you are enrolled in. So we're going to host these weekly weekends doubt session. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and enroll in the course and come on to this journey of learning Salesforce integration with me and we will learn each and every topic step by step with the help of these projects. So I will go ahead and see you inside the course. Thank you so much. Bye.